In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on ellipse. Alright, here we've got the question which reads like this. It says, uh, find the equation of the ellipse whose length of the major axis is 20 and the foci are 0, plus 5 and 0, minus 5. That's what it means when, it, when they say it's 0, plus and minus 5. Because an ellipse has got two foci and uh, as you can see, the C lies on the y-axis, right? The value of C is on the y-axis, so which means the equation of the ellipse is as follows. It's like this. It's x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equal to 1. And we've got that the length of major axis is 20. That is uh, 2a equals 20. So therefore, a equals 10. So we found the value of 10 and we have c is equal to 5. So all that we have to do to uh, find the equation is just find the value of b, which can be found by using this formula a square equal to b square plus c square. All right, so we need to find b, which is b square equals uh, a square minus c square. So b equals um, square root of a square minus c square, which is equal to a is uh, 10, so a square is 100. Minus c is uh, 5, so c squared is 25. So b equals square root of 75. So b equals square root of 75. Or b squared equal to 75 because that's what we actually want. I mean, I don't see uh, why we want b. So let b be root of 75, but b squared is 75. So now all we have to do is just substitute the values of a and b in this equation to get the equation of the ellipse. All right, so here we are x squared divided by b squared, so which is 75 plus y squared divided by a squared, which is 100, 10 squared is 100, equal to 1. So therefore, the required equation of the ellipse in question is x squared by 75 plus y squared by 100 equals 1. So the key points to remember as far as this problem is concerned is that you first have to identify which form of the equation it is. We've got two standard equations of an ellipse, so you need to identify which one of those two is this that we are talking about in this question. And then you also have to remember this formula to find b. And you also have to realize that when they when they give you the coordinates of foci, they're giving us the value of c. And depending on uh, whether the c is a y coordinate or the x coordinate uh, is how you decide what form of the two equations uh, of ellipse are we talking about in this video, all right? So that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on ellipse.